No, get him, get him, get him! Oh! Oh, he killed me! Oh, come on! No! Oh. Come on! Oh my god! He's wrecking us! Oh! This is ridiculous! <laughs>
What's the point? Except um, apparently you can't throw the turtles. you can't throw guys into the screen in that one. Right. Yeah. Which again, I've never played it, so I don't fully know if that's true, but that's just what I've read. Yeah. Um. By the way, did you notice that Baxter Stockman was not in Turtles? Oh, I forgot about this. There's different jumps you can do. Remember this one? It's like a floaty drop kick. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's extra powerful, if I if I recall correctly. I can't stop doing it now. Doing it by mistake. <laughs> um, and then but yeah, did you notice that Baxter Stockman was not in Turtles Three at all? Uh, no, I didn't. Was he in Turtles Two? He was, he, he was in Turtles 2. In fact, you fought him in both forms, because he was a human, like most mutants were, that got turned into a fly. As I recall, he was kind of turned into a fly against his will. Like, he didn't want to be a mutant, but Shredder was like, it's mutant time for you. Um, hey, look, you can attack when you're in that floaty mode. Yeah. And the things that I'm figuring out here... That, that's the whole point of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did you say anything? I just assumed you knew it. I mean, he's like... No, don't assume. Putting his, like... Uh... The weapons out. Huh. Yeah, man, that was so easy compared to the boss fights of Turtle Three. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Cowabunga, dudes! Yeah, when I thought about it, I was kind of surprised that Baxter was not in. Uh... Oh, I like by the way how they give you little previews of the bosses here with the silhouettes. Do you remember what this boss is? It's like um, the Android Turtle or, or yeah, the Android Android Android. Turtle. Robo Turtle. Robo Turtle. Oh yeah, there you go, breaking the fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> Classic move. Um, but Baxter was like one of the main villains. I was surprised they didn't put him in Turtles 3. Because mm -hmm. there's just no room for him. Because he was the one who made the Mousers, if you remember from the TV. Yeah, he did. He was like a scientist. You know what else I was thinking of the what? other day? Speaking of uh, people who got turned into mutants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> did, do you ever think Bebop and Rock... Oh, how did you do that? You kind of like did a barrel roll and threw him. Uh, don't ask me. I have no idea. <laughs> You're just button mashing? <laughs> well, you're trying, okay. to, trying to throw him, but I, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, interesting. But speaking of guys who got turned into mutants, do you ever think that Bebop and Rocksteady, like, at some point kind of got sick of being mutants and were like, I miss being a human? Oh. Or, like, did it ever get old just being a rhino? Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one likes being a mutant. <laughs> 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 Like, at a certain point, you must be like, I want to date a girl again. I want to, like, you know, I don't know, get a job. I guess maybe they don't want a job. But still, like, nobody wants to live their life as, like, a rhino. No, I agree. I wouldn't want to do that either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, worked, um, it worked out for the turtles because they were, like, not sentient before. <laughs> right. I mean, their <laughs> options were you get to be a turtle or you get to be a humanoid. If those are my choices, I'd pick humanoid every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but if, you, but if you start a human, I don't see what the advantage is. No, I mean, you're super strong, so if you want to fight weird mutant turtles, that's good, but... Um, I... yeah, I... I don't know. I did, by the way, since last time we played, I have looked up an episode of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the old cartoon, just to see what it was like. Oh, you did? And I actually watched... yeah, I watched the first episode... Oh damn it, I died. Where you get to see Bebop and Rocksteady when they're in human form. It's like, I think, the only episode, possibly, of the whole series. Uh, I remember this. This pizza explodes and kills everyone. <laughs> <laughs> or no, I guess it gives you a superpower. But yeah, you get to see them as human. And I, had, I actually totally forgot what they look like as human. Uh, yeah, I can't remember either. Yeah, Bebop's sort of like a pot-bellied black punk and Rocksteady's like this weird, weirdly haircutted, kind of like blonde hillbilly Rambo dude, it, it's really hard to describe. They're, they're both punks, essentially. I mean, that's the premise of it. Um, but yeah, I wonder if they ever had regrets. They definitely had regrets. <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> I'm gonna mangle you slime balls. Oh. This is like the other sort of anti-Ninja Turtle. Oh, this is what I love about this game. When you hit the bosses, you actually sort of stun them. The oh, turtle no. three was totally missing. Uh, that. Oh, you died uh, right! In. Oh, and then you got the uh, pizza. I didn't like. He hit me into that. I didn't. Oh, man, man, you really, you really screwed uh, us over. I didn't do that. <laughs> that was really annoying. That was a big man, hit. He took off these like these bosses. I, I'm loving you. You can stun lock them. Oh, it was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really easy, except that he yeah. killed me. And oh, I just the fell in the. Yeah, except for the pizza. Well, I feel like we're doing pretty good in this. 
and the levels are going by like super fast yeah is there like a harder difficulty level or <laughs> maybe i mean we didn't even go into the options maybe we could have selected more lives or difficulties or whatever hopefully we don't get into a situation like we did in turtles 3 where like we just straight up uh, are gonna die and yeah. could have selected an easier difficulty you know but I have more confidence in us beating this th legitimately than I did in Turtles 2. Yeah. Well, I think I think I always got further in this game. Like, Turtles 3 was... Yeah, I, I never really got that far. Right. There are, like, cool moves you can do if you uh, jump and attack at the same time. Like, you do this, like, jump kick. I don't think I remembered that. Do you remember this one? Do you see that? No. Oh. Oh, a bad, kind of. Bad time to do that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are these things? Ow. I do remember this, actually. Oh, I want to get all those mystery pizzas. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, that, that one was risky. Yeah. I'm sure if we got them all, we would have got like a one-up or something. These guys, do you remember what these guys were in the show? Uh, pizza monsters? Yeah, they were pizza monsters. They always look like the xenomorphs from Alien, though, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't see the pizza resemblance at all. No. I've never eaten a pizza that looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, do you want to explain to people Pepperoni Island? Because that's your thing. That has nothing to do with Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pizza related. <laughs> Tell them what Pepperoni Island is. Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> if you want to, if you want to. Oh, by the way, I remember having this guy. We had this little uh, tank or whatever that he's on, and oh, we yeah. had this guy, too. Yeah, so did I. I had, I had the vehicle and, and the Rat King guy. Yeah, yeah and I think he, like, uh, floats in the water or something, possibly. Uh, I'm not sure if he does, but the, the vehicle does. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, the vehicle. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Just try not to die. Uh, well, how, what? Just like stay out of it, or? <laughs> yeah, I I got him. He only has one hit left. All right. I can just beast mode this. There we go. See? Wow. Easy. Stick with me. <laughs> I'm going places. <laughs> so uh, so Pizza Island is a it's a pizza eating strategy to maximize <laughs> flavor for your last bite. <laughs> This gives you an insight into sort of the meticulousness of the way Brandon lives his life. But carry on. Uh, yeah, it's just that, you know, if you really like pepperoni, for example, then you save your last bite by eating around a pepperoni piece. So then your last bite is just a, a piece of pizza with a pepperoni on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty It's actually pretty a good pizza eating strategy. Yeah. Um, and you call that last bite Pepperoni Island. <laughs> I don't remember calling it this, but um, you seem to. Uh, well, I thought you were the one who I came up with it. I don't know. I, maybe I did at the time, but it's not like something I always. Oh, refer I got gotcha. To you know, um, yeah, I just I just do it, and maybe maybe when we were talking about it the first time, you realized, then maybe I just called it that. Yeah. One spot. <laughs> I, I didn't like. I didn't name it before. Right. And, you know. I mean, definitely when you think about it, everyone has like weird ways of eating stuff. Like, one of the most common ones is, like, when you sit down to eat a meal, what do you eat first and what do you eat last? And do you eat everything in, like, sequence, or do you have, like, a little bite of everything as you go, you know? Uh, yeah. My strategy is to go for, so. like, one whole thing and then move on to the next thing and the next thing. I don't know about you. So if you had, like steak and potatoes you would like eat all the steak and yeah then all the potatoes but i would probably eat the steak last because i like the steak the most so i generally eat the thing i like the most last huh. yeah i find that a little strange because i thought everyone would just eat everything <laughs> like back and forth but, but it's like uh, i don't maybe, know yeah, maybe maybe i'm the weird one <laughs> i like steak so much i don't want the other flavors to get in the way i i uh i guess you take it because i got a life Oh, Go yeah. Okay. Don't die. Well, I mean, I, I'm totally going to die. I got to play, like, really coy right now. Use your super. What super? <laughs> There's no super? I don't think so. Pressing L and R yeah, is it, it does nothing. L and R? Yeah. No, I mean, like, you're the two buttons together. Yeah, they just make you do the uh, the jump. Like jump kick like that. 
Are you sure? Yeah. No. No, no, no. I definitely remember. I know. You do it. I only. I usually. I, I usually play Leonardo, so uh, I know what his is, but... Hold on. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, I think I just did it. Yeah, I do like a ram ass kick. I don't know what yours what? is. Yeah. Huh. I, I'm, I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's happening. So, you'll, you'll have to show me after this boss. Let's not mess around for this guy. Yeah. I, I, I think these two turtles have the... Their moves, it's hard to see. But if you were like Leonardo or, or Donatello, you would, it would be more obvious. Right. All right, now Toka here is spitting fire. He spit ice yeah, they before. They, they reversed it. They yeah. reversed it, yeah. Ah, he got me. Damn it. I was only trying to attack him when he was going for you, but... Okay. Let's get these guys. Get these fools. I like how in this game there's like boss battles where there's two bosses at once. I think I got Toka here. Or right, never mind. Oh yeah, we got him. We phased him into a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wolf. Yeah, he looked more like a puppy to me. <laughs> and this is like a turtle. Turtle on turtle violence, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really got obsessed with those characters, huh? It's like... Yeah. Uh, do you want to get it, or...? Nah, you might as well. You're low on health. You're getting all of them. <laughs> You're just getting injured strategically. I think you played this game ahead of time and figured out where to be low on health. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. But yeah, like, Token Re Razor, there weren't even uh, real characters except in the movie, right? So Yeah. The, the only character from Turtles 2, the movie, that I really like that they included in most video games is Super Shredder. I always thought Super Shredder was really cool. Yeah, although it doesn't make sense why his armor morphs as well. I mean, that is totally true. <laughs> it's like his armor mutates too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, by the way, uh, ever play the Game Boy Turtle games? Because there was a whole trilogy of these games on uh, on Game Boy. Um, you know, I might have, but uh, I mean, I might have played one. I, I definitely didn't have them all. Uh, I. I haven't looked at my Game Boy collection in a while. I think I had one. You had one of them? Yeah, I think. Can you remember what it was like? Because like, I was thinking about it, and I, when I read that, I was like, I think I remember them, but I can't picture them. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's very vague. I, yeah, I couldn't really describe it. Yeah. What about the, uh, the modern Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games? Because they've made, like... There was like one that came out in 2009 or something, wasn't there? Like a beat em up? Yeah, every time one comes out, I like get excited and I'm like, oh, maybe this would be good. And then I read the reviews and they suck. <laughs> so I, I, don't, right. I, don't, I don't end up bothering. <laughs> this, by the way, is the boss fight where we have to throw guys into Shredder. I'm just having a hell of a time grabbing anyone. Yeah, me too. Oh, and I'm just dead. <laughs> Damn it. Good thing you got all those lives, man. <laughs> The problem is, like, Shredder's, like, right in the way. There we go. And he's, like, trying to pinch you and shoot you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Oh, if Shredder just didn't send his foot soldiers after us, we'd have no way to attack him. I uh. think I think I've played a harder mode of this, and, uh, the, these, um, when you have to throw the foot soldiers in into them, they're, they're the kind that block. So it's actually extra oh. extra hard to throw them in. Right. My patience is wearing thin. I'm banishing you to a time warp <laughs> from which you will never return. <laughs> Solid plan. That is um, a pretty good plan. I don't know how we get out of this. But if you sent somebody back in time, couldn't they just change the past to be more favorable to them? So, like, make you never be born? That was weird. Prehistoric Telosaur. So, like, if you if you banish someone back in time, couldn't they just change the past so that you were, like, never born? <laughs> well, look how far back they sent us. I, I, I think we would be dead before we could have a back like that. <laughs> <laughs> we could just kill... Well, we could kill a weird butterfly, and then humans might never evolve, and then that's the end of Shredder. Y yeah, but... I mean, is that what we want? <laughs> no humans? Just take out, yeah. take them all out. But so here's here's my thing. I would say if you sent someone back in time, you're risking them screwing up the past. And if you sent them into the future, you're risking them getting their hands on more advanced technology than you've got and coming back and really messing you up. So I don't think I would send my enemies through time at all. It's too risky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right. I mean, I just think that you know, so far in the past right now, that what could they possibly do? They're not. They're not I gonna. I suppose. Yeah, they, I suppose. They're not gonna. I mean, if they're gonna wipe out the human race, like, I mean, then they wouldn't be exist either. So. Right, but then that's like playing with fire, man. They might not do it intentionally. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, there was. Do you remember there was a turtle movie where they actually go back and they become samurais in like ancient Japan? Of course, that was a good one. Number three. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? I never watched that. That uh, I was not interested in that as a kid. Really? That was like the best. I love that one. <laughs> uh, I thought it looked kind of dumb. <laughs> this guy's got a battle axe. Um, well, so what made it good? Uh, I don't remember now. Oh, it was so good you can't even remember. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, what did make it good? I don't know, why, why don't you want to see uh, Ninja Turtles in, like, Feudal Japan? It's awesome. I guess I was this never is, super like... interested in Feudal Japan. Like In, in what? In Feudal Japan. Oh, okay. It, so, it, like, I was interested in seeing them hang around New York City. New York's kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, the story um, of, like, Wolverine from X-Men when he goes to oh, Japan. Right. It's like... People like that sort of thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's still the one X Men Wolverine movie I haven't seen, but I've heard it's good, so I no. gotta get, I gotta watch that. Um, you heard it's good? I thought, well, okay, maybe it's not. <laughs> yeah, Somebody I, told me it was good recently. I, no, no, I, I mean, the technically the story from which it comes from is, is an interesting story. I wouldn't recommend the movie necessarily. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so I don't now I'm getting conflicting information. I, I, I don't want, I don't want to be blamed for anything here. Yeah. How dare you recommend that movie? <laughs> These blocking guys are annoying. You want to get that one this time? Sure. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, do you remember... So the turtles went back in time in that samurai movie. Do you remember there was also Star Trek-themed action figures for the Ninja Turtles? So they kind of went in the future, too. Sorry, say that again. There was what? Star Trek... Themed action figures. Star Trek themed action oh, damn figures. It. Yeah. Continue. Oh look, I get to change turtles. I will save Leo for you. Because oh, <laughs> I know you like him. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Oh, there's a pizza uh, right there. Oh. oh, that would have been useful. Um, yeah, the company that made the Ninja Turtles action figures back in the 80s, they also had the rights for Star Trek, so they made the Star Trek action figures too. And, uh, you might as well grab it. Or I guess, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. So they had the rights for Star Trek as well, and so they just decided to make some Star Trek-themed turtle action figures. So it's like, just the Ninja Turtles wearing, like, Picard's uniform and stuff like that. Weird. Yeah, you don't remember that, eh? No, not yeah, at all. It's Slash again. Um, I, I think I had one of those action figures. And I think, as I said in the other game, I definitely had this guy. Yeah, sla this guy looks Slash looks just like his uh, his uh, action figure in this yeah. game. Yeah, he didn't he didn't so much in the other one. Yeah, this he looks really cool here. I have to say, like he looks like just a cool, like like a really vicious Ninja Turtle. Like the, the Ninja Turtles were cavemen. It's very suitable that he's on this level. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh man! Did he get you? Yeah. He's just like blocking our attacks. We gotta be like careful on this guy. I don't want to die. Damn it. He's long reach. Careful, careful. Get away, get away, get uh, away. Oh, damn it. Uh, oh, I got us both. All right, uh, Slash. How do, you, uh, how do you change turtles? Ah. Left and right. I can't change. Up and down. <laughs> oh, what? what the hell? Game over. I couldn't. Like, I literally, none of, my, none of the buttons worked. Are you serious? So we just kind of died at the slash level, and Brandon couldn't continue. There's something wrong with his controller. So we have actually reset, and we're going to fight our way back to where we left off. Um, and as you can see, in the options menu, you can turn up the number of lives you've got. So we went ahead and did that so that we have a much better shot of uh, getting to where we were. So we were just, we were, that was basically like a practice mode, I would say. What about you? Would you agree to that? Um, yes, that, that was our whole intention. Yeah, we, yeah. we, it wasn't messing up. We had planned this all along. We just wanted to try the game out before we committed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, twist my arm. I guess I'll play more Ninja Turtles. What were we talking about when we died? We are talking about Slash, how he kind of looks cool. 
Yeah, I really like how this game looks overall. Oh yeah, this game is like one of the nicest uh, looking Ninja Turtles games, I think. Like it really captures the sort of feel of uh, the cartoon and stuff. What do you think of Donatello? Uh, I, I feel like he's better. Like I feel like his bow is longer than Mike, but I think that's just in my head. I'm pretty sure these turtles, they made them all equivalent. Let's try and yeah. save the pizza in case we need it. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it made more of a difference maybe in other games. Because it yeah. was like the flipping mechanic. In Turtles 1, for sure, Don's bow has like a big Oh, effect. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that was so ridiculous that they even put that in. Like, why would you choose any other turtle? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to totally get that pizza. If you can. Boom. Yeah, this is how we should have been playing from the get-go. Baxter's got nothing. You know, you know one thing that I've never seen in a Ninja Turtles game is the ability to play as Casey Jones. Because <laughs> he's an ally of them, right? He's a good guy. But you like you never see him in video games. I don't know if he's in any of the modern ones. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried any of the modern ones. So you were saying before that every time a modern one comes out, you like go and check it out, but then you're always disappointed. So well, it hasn't been a good one? Like, I don't, I don't check out in terms of playing, but... I, I, I check, like, you know, the reviews or whatever, and they all seem to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you, yeah. Yeah, go on. It's just, it's also, like, is it enough for me to buy it, right? Like, if I could just test it out, like, I might I might have tested them out for free, but, like, I'm not right. gonna... Right. If it's a bad, I, it has a bad rating and it's, and it's, uh, you know, it costs money, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I think that is one big change I've seen in the game industry over, like, the past... I mean, there's been a lot of changes, but, like, when I was a kid, there was demo versions of every game out there and shareware copies, and, like, companies wanted you to try their games before you committed to buying them. But nowadays, I feel like it's like they don't want you to try the game, you know? Like, they're afraid to let you try it. So, like you said, even if a Turtles game had a bad review, you'd probably play the demo, and you might even like it, even though the review is, you know, most people don't. But it's then you true. might have bought it. Yeah, I, it's true. I might have. Yeah. But it's like they're too afraid to let you play that demo these days. Yeah. I feel like that's a mistake. Yeah, if demos are around, they're, I don't feel like they're well advertised. No, not at all. They're they're pretty And they're pretty rare. Oh, man, we demolished those guys. <laughs> I, saw uh, him, I guess I'll take that one. I saw him, like, uh, shooting at one of his tentacles, and I, as he was doing it, I, like, killed him. <laughs> and he was about, to, he was about to, if I hadn't, he would have, like, like Yeah. So we should admit that we did turn the difficulty down on this just so that we uh, can give you guys a show and make it through all the levels. So if it looks like we're doing way better than before, I mean, we kind of are, but uh, the foot soldiers are also a little easier this time around. Are they? Like, I haven't really noticed... Uh... The change. Difficult you know what I think it is? Is that we take less damage. Oh, yeah. That's... I don't think these guys are, like, easier to kill or anything, but I, I feel like I am I have way more health this time around. Yeah, you're right. What were we just talking about a minute ago? Uh, demos. No, before that. Uh, modern Ninja Turtle games. Mm, oh, yeah. You know what's funny? Um, <laughs> there was a, an Ninja Turtle game that came out not very recently, but recent enough in memory, um, that I was like, oh, maybe I should try this. But then, again, the same thing happened in the reviews. I'm just like, ah, no, no point. I don't know if you've heard of it. It was called, like, uh, Ninja Turtles Smash Up or something. Actually, I've never heard of that one. No? no. It's no. Uh, it's kind of like a Smash Bros. clone of Ninja Turtle characters. Oh, that sounds actually promising, because, like, the Turtles have a big roster of cool characters, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Never but no, it, sucked. it wasn't good? Well, I, I don't remember now. I, I never ended up trying. So I right. see it didn't live right. up to expectations. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> why, why would you do that? You, like, beelined right for the pizza, man. <laughs> no. All right, well, it's your responsibility now. Use that health. <laughs> did you, did but you it's see, a good use. Did you see what happened? I did, like, these flips, and I, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I was actually doing the same thing. I couldn't stop either. <laughs> I think in the NES games, the bosses had, like like 10 times as much health because like these guys go down so easy it's crazy yeah um i'd rather them be like this than in, like in the last game oh yeah totally but but again i really love that you can stun lock them it makes yeah. the fight so much more fun but if, if they could find a balance like maybe make them like last a bit longer and have the stun lock you know what i mean right yeah so it's like it's not impossible 
but it's um it, yeah i don't know it just makes more sense yeah no i know what you're saying they, they are on the easy side i mean i don't mind that but yeah i i i see they're like they're definitely not a challenge i would say not in the same way that in the other game like we really had to figure we, we had to plan and strategize and beating bebop you know yeah um, when you were saying that the modern Turtles games aren't uh, aren't as as good as the old ones, I, I was just kind of thinking, you know, it's funny, like, like how old is the beat 'em up genre? It's from like the '80s, and like they can't make a good modern one. Like, there's so many examples that they can look to and just say, like, let's just copy that. They had it right, you know. Let's just do a good job of that. But it's like they can't figure it out almost. Yeah, I, I don't it's, know. It's actually like surprising and embarrassing in a way, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of glad we're doing this level again, because I feel like I'm redeeming myself. Uh, oh, we missed, missed that one. Uh. <laughs> Remember, there's one right in the middle we got to get right at the end. I don't know what these mystery pizzas do, but the gamer in me just wants to collect things. Do you think it's strange that these pizza monsters explode when you hit them? <laughs> I mean, everything explodes in this game. <laughs> yeah, but usually... The ninjas they're explode. Yeah, but they're machines. <laughs> they usually there's a good reason. Allegedly. They're allegedly machines. <laughs> They have pretty human-looking hands to me, you know, they have beige <laughs> hands. So is it that they're actually human, but they have, like, bombs strapped to them, so every time you, yeah. you cut them up, they they just die? <laughs> yeah, Shredder just really doesn't want anyone blabbing, so yeah. everyone who works for him is rigged with a bomb, just like the Joker in Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this guy, he's like off the screen, we're doing so much damage to him. He pushed him back. Yeah, let's get him. Why are you just hanging back? Why? So I, <laughs> so I don't get, like, hit by those things that he's popping out of him. Making me do all the work. You weren't doing anything, <laughs> you are just hopping around because you kept getting your foot stubbed on. I did so much work they gave me an extra life, what are you talking about? I wasn't <laughs> oh. doing anything. No, but like, while, while that, that point that you were commenting, I was hanging back. Yeah. You could, you well, I, was, I, was, I was still hitting him. I was intimidating him. <laughs> you were intimidating him <laughs> <laughs> by hopping up and down? Yeah, by be by becoming visibly injured in front of him, <laughs> you can see the fear in his eyes. He's like, "My God, this thing's an animal. Nothing will stop it." Were those? You know those little robot things? Those yeah. are in the first episode of the TV show. Were they? I was just about to ask you if they were in the cartoons, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I didn't remember either. But uh, Shredder sends one of them to go to a zoo to capture the rhino and warthog that they use to mutate Bebop and Rocksteady. Hmm. So that little lasso that they always try and capture us with, they use that on the animals. I say they, I think there's only one. So was the first episode any good? Uh, that's a very complicated question. <laughs> <laughs> they pretty straightforward to me, yeah. I would say that it was not as bad as I thought it could have been. And I think the TV show actually is more watchable than maybe we were suspecting it might be. Yeah, so the, fir the first episode, by the way, the animation in that show is amazing, especially the animation for the intro sequence. Um, I think that holds up even to this day. Like, in fact, really? I think some modern cartoons don't have animation as good as they had in that show. Uh, not necessarily during an episode, but for that title sequence especially. Like, it's gritty, it's detailed. It's just cool. I don't know. Hmm. Like, you should go back. You should look it up on YouTube and check it out. <laughs> and do you remember? Okay, do you remember in, like, the, the main theme? There was, like, a line I remember kids always made fun of. Um, it was about Donatello. I don't know if... if he, he, guys... does he does machines? He does machines! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always made fun of that. I mean, <laughs> me as well. And Donatello does machines. We'd all giggle like, hee hee hee. <laughs> um, yep. Uh, that title sequence, though, is still mm. great even to this day. Mm. Um, you but know the episode... To... Uh, go on. Oh, it, it, just because we're at this part, um, it, I forgot to mention the last time we came here that sometimes what happens when you fight those two is that they start fighting each other. I don't know if you would have oh, noticed that. Oh, that would have been cool to they, see. Like, they, like, ram into each other and take off some life. You should get the pizza, by the way. Oh, yeah. Anyway, sorry. That's but, really cool. Yeah, I, I was hoping they were going to do it, but I had forgotten about it last time. Right. And we were just, I think we were just doing too much damage to them too quickly. They didn't have a chance to do it this time. No, they didn't. Yeah, so the first episode, it's, I mean, it's a kid's show. So it has the sensibilities of a kid's show where 
the bad guys are buffoons and kind of, you know, inept, and the good guys are kind of like a little sarcastic and don't take things too seriously. Uh, but beyond that, actually, I thought the show, like, I was kind of impressed. Hmm. I, I don't know if I would, like, sit down and watch them all. I, I might not have the patience for that, but I could see showing it to a kid, seeing if the kid likes it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I like ramming those guys. <laughs> like, uh, body checking them? Yeah, because they're, like, they keep blocking all my attacks. So if I, like, body check them, then I can throw right. them or do whatever after. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Shredder always threatened that. It's kind of like a weird uh, threat to be like, I'm going to eat you. Like, that was functionally what he was saying. I'm going to eat you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what other bad guy wants to eat the good guys? Like, I don't even think, like, Gargamel did that. Oh, man, that was so fast. <laughs> just demolished him. <laughs> All right. So we're almost caught up to where we left off. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing us do the first few levels again. Yeah, even the rock guys explode. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you. I think Shredder just rigged these guys. I'm pretty sure, like, look at these foot soldiers. That guy carrying the battle axe. Look at their hands. You're telling me those are robots. <laughs> I don't know. I just assumed. <laughs> I'm just trying to survive till we get to that pizza, because I know it's coming up. So there's a pizza coming up? Yeah. It's, like, right over here. Oh, oh no, no! Damn it! Oh. <laughs> All right, well, just don't die. Oh, oh, oh and I'm taking damage too. All right, well, there you damn. Go. That's really annoying. That's so annoying because there's the pizza, the one I was literally just an inch away from getting. Oh, well, I guess I need it now too. Hold on, keep going for it. I'll stand here for a sec. Nah, okay. Where are they? This is where we died, right? Yeah, but we're doing a lot better now. We have a oh. lot more health. How Your long? history, slime balls. How long did that uh, did that take us? Um, twenty minutes. Took us half an hour to get here originally. I don't understand how you get him to not block. Me neither. I think hitting him in the air. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a secret, or not a secret, like the trick to it though. Jesus. And in the back, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that that worked oh. on him. <laughs> Jesus, he hit you hardcore, man. Oh, get out, get out. No! Ah! Uh, ah! Oh, oh! Damn it! Hit both of us with that. Yeah, jeez. Oh, now you're dead, oh, too. Oh, man. The problem is he does, like, so much damage. So you said you wanted harder bosses. <laughs> I did? Yeah. Didn't you say you wish bosses were harder? Oh, my God. Well, it's not... all you. Ah. Uh. It's focused on me. Oh, get him, get him, get him! Oh! Oh, he killed me! Oh, come on! No! Oh. Come on! Jeez, man, this guy! Oh my god! He's wrecking us! Oh! This is ridiculous! <laughs> this is insane! We see, like, one more hit on him and he's gonna kill me again! <laughs> he's blocking everything! I don't understand! Where did Shredder find this guy? Oh, god! Do? He's gonna get us! I can't! Get him, get him, get him, get him! It's our only chance! Oh yes. my god! Oh my god! He took like oh. three lives off us. Wow. And he exploded too! <laughs> they always explode. <laughs> they always explode. <laughs> and now suddenly we have the power to go forward in time. So there's the dinosaur time. I like how it has a little thumbnail. <laughs> and. Do you, know, do you remember where we go next? Oh, pirate time. Yeah. You know, they really should have... Um, Golan Crossbow. They, they, they really should have made an explanation of how we get to travel through time again. Don't... Isn't just beating up a prehistoric turtle explanation enough? But he's not we a prehistoric turtle. He's a current generation mutant turtle. Why did, okay. they, send him, why did they send him back in time? Because he looks like he belongs in the, the caveman era. Yeah, maybe. It's kind of you know what it's kind of like. It's like Looper. Like in <laughs> Looper, the mob sends one of their bosses back in time to permanently be in the past to like run things. Yeah. It's just like that. It's like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles did Looper before Looper was a thing. <laughs> I, think you, I think you're giving them too much credit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to I like to think uh, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, man. You step on one of those boards yet? I, I did by accident, like flipped up and hit you in the face. 
Yeah. You know, there are actually a lot of moves in this game. Uh, cause I'm just trying to do the, like, floaty thing. Yeah, there you go. Considering like there's one? only- considering there's only two buttons, like- Yeah. Uh, they, they did squeeze a lot, a lot in, in terms of moves. And it, it's actually kind of weird that they didn't use more buttons, because the NES has six, if you include L and R, right? Yeah. And they just like used they two. Them more. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, despite all these moves, I pretty much just use the throws. It's, like, my only real move. You just use throws? Yeah, I just throw yeah. throw guys around. Yeah, but you uh, use different kinds of... Uh, what do you call it? Different kinds of air kicks. Occasionally. I, I use like, like three. I use like three different kinds. Oh, do you? Yeah. Maybe you're just better at fighting games than me, or you're <laughs> fancier at least. You have you, more panache. Do you, do you do this one yet? Yeah, I was just doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. I haven't seen you do it. Well, you know, you're okay. not watching. Are you, are you gonna get that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> what I really need is a real pizza. Forget about a pizza with a bomb on it. Oh, jeez. Now these are real bombs. Aw, oh, what? Hey, look down. at this sign. It says foot. We're on the foot soldier's boat. <laughs> they were pirates, apparently, before they were ninjas. Oh, yes. Finally, Finally I got a pizza. It. I think um, they should always give you two pizzas. I mean, yeah, what am I supposed should. to do here? Turtles 3 did, to their credit. Turtles 2 and Turtles 4 is not about, you know, holding your hand. You gotta be true ninjas. It's kind of interesting how, like, ninjas have, like, fallen out of fashion, eh? Like, ninjas were, like, a big deal in the 80s and kind of the 90s a bit. Like, now no one really cares about ninjas. Yeah, I think, uh, I think before there was, like, an idea, like, only ninjas knew how to, like, do cool fight stuff, but like right. now, like other, you can be trained how to fight without being a ninja. So. Right. I feel like ninjas were like the big pop culture thing in the '80s and '90s, and then it kind of went to zombies for a while, and now it's kind of on superheroes. I don't know yeah. if you have a similar impression of. Yeah. So these these guys can uh, can fight each other too. Oh. I, I, but I don't know how to get them to do it. <laughs> I mean, they're close uh, enough that you'd think that they might fight each other. They like. I remember they like wrap, like wraps his whip around the guy's sword or something. Oh, there he goes. They, they're yeah, fighting. Yeah, like yeah, like. You idiots! Oh, that's the best. <laughs> hey, you just got an extra life. You have exactly four hundred points. Oh, nice. Yeah. Off from the pirate stage. We're making good progress here. So we fought our way through the present through. Like city streets, sewers, into the Technodrome. Didn't see Krang in the Technodrome. Got sent back in time. We fought through two time periods already. Worry my shell at wounded knee. Oh, th what's this boss? You know this one. <laughs> Leatherhead? Yeah, Leatherhead. <laughs> I'm looking forward to killing him. Yeah, he, he does was annoying in Turtles 3. Yeah, but he does a funny dance in this one when he dies. Does he? How do you remember all this stuff? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when was the last time you played this game? Uh, a couple years ago, I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> now you maybe, have this one. For, you that. have this one for Super Nintendo as well, right? Oh, I sure do. So we talked about your NES collection last time. So what's your Super Nintendo collection like? Oh, like what games I had? Yeah. Or uh, did you have? Like, what were your favorite games and stuff? Hmm. Favorite games? Uh, well, this one for sure. Oh yeah. Um, Mario Kart. Oh yeah, of course. That's still like one of your favorites, I think, like because you enjoy most Mario Karts, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but yeah. that was that was the first one. Right. Yeah. Um, I never had that uh, growing up, and when I went to friends' houses, they always wanted to play it, and I only ever liked the battle mode because it was kind of fun to like hunt each other. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't very good at races though. Yeah, I, I like both both modes. Right. Um, what else did I have? Hmm. You had a super scope that you sold to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Recently, scope. actually. Yeah. That's uh, and that's how I have a Super Scope. I still, I want to make a video of that sometime, of Super Scope games, and I've actually been collecting as many Super Scope games I get my hands on, but I obviously haven't done anything with it yet. Yeah, I, I'd like to try that out with you, because I've only, I think I've only played, like, a couple of Super Scope games myself. Right. I, I had the scope, but I only had, like, two games. I think I have, like, eight now or something like that. Oh, man.
I'm missing a couple, but I almost have like a complete collection. So, okay, so this was one of your favorites. What else? And what else did you have? Um, I really liked F Zero, but uh, it was a one player game, so that kind of bumped me. F Zero, yeah, that was a one player game. Yeah. Uh, I had Final Fight. Oh, Final Fight was a good one. Yeah. Who is, did you prefer Cody or Hagar? Cody. <laughs> yeah, Cody, man. Cody all the way. <laughs> yeah. I found Hagar, like, just got beat up more easily. I don't know what it was. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was just slow. Yeah, he was slow. Um, I know on the final boss, Cody, if you punched... So the final boss would shoot bullets at you or something, and Cody's punches could deflect them, but Hagar's couldn't. So it's like on the final boss, if you were Hagar, you had a huge disadvantage. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, I had Super Mario World, of course. Oh, yeah. And that that was, like, a lot of people's favorite, too, I think. Mm -hmm. I remember renting a Super Nintendo when I was a kid, when it first came out, or my dad rented it. Um, and remember, like, playing that over, like, a weekend, like, just nonstop, because, like, we only had it for a weekend, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> You're kidding me with those knives. Yeah. I feel like he's not too bad. Oh, geez. Whoa, didn't see that coming. No. Slash was way harder than this. As long as you just dodge, you're good. Watch out, man, you're gonna die. Oh, you got me. You gotcha. Feels somehow appropriate for turtles to be fighting a giant alligator. <laughs> see, there's his <laughs> giant his dance. Oh, there you go, he does his little <laughs> dance off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga! It's just so weird. Like I'm just thinking, like when they made this, I mean, what, what, what were they thinking? Like, okay, you beat him, and then he just like freaks out, and then like falls off the train. <laughs> like, I don't it was know. probably, you know, what I bet it was. It was like the only animation frames they had of him, so they just decided to use that. So they didn't have uh, yeah. time to do other animations. Yeah, that's true. Actually, it's the same animation. They just repeat it. Whoa, 2020. That's not that far away. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the world of 2020 looks like. <laughs> I think we're on, we're on hoverboards. Yeah. This is uh, not, not where this... we... When was this game made? <laughs> this is made like the 90s. They had... they had. Uh, let's say they were pretty ambitious in what they thought 2020 was going to look like. They always are. Yeah. This is like maybe 2120. Um, you've seen the stuff where like there are real hoverboards now though, right? Like the uh, quantum hoverboards or whatever? Um, but you have, they have, they only work on certain ground materials, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And you can't control them like a skateboard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's they're, they're not very practical, but they exist, ow. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of actually looks like F-Zero, speaking of F-Zero, by the way. Yeah, it does. Um, Ah, uh, and then uh, and then there's also oh, sh there's also uh, that water hoverboard. You've seen those th things. Oh right? yeah, I've seen that. And like water jetpacks and stuff, and yeah. water boots. I yeah. mean, it's not it's not a true hoverboard, but it like, right. it might give you the sensation. Oh man, I, I would love to try a water jetpack. That would be amazing. I don't think they're really available for the public, or if you can buy them privately, they're pretty expensive. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. They seem probably very dangerous for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Like, I could probably yeah. really hurt myself on one of those things. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see him in the background there? He's coming for us. Oh, I'm ready. I'm just gonna do this, and if he gets hit, it's his own fault. <laughs> Is it, so this guy... He stole the Statue of Liberty. I wonder what his plan was. Like, why that? I, mean, we were, I think we already took a notch off him. Yeah, we did. There's another one. His plan is to do nothing. I like it. Two notches. <laughs> yeah. Before he even, like, attacks us. Yeah. But yeah, like, the, stealing the Statue of Liberty, doesn't that kind of seem like a pointless crime? Like, what's your end game there? Um, Ransom? I guess. But, like, if you have the power to steal the Statue of Liberty, couldn't you just steal something more valuable or just steal money? <laughs> Cut out the middleman. Hey, he's just mischievous, all right? <laughs> I'm thinking too much about this. <laughs> I, I want to know why these villains are doing things, man. <laughs> all right, now we get to war back. I think we've now successfully fought our way through time, if I'm not mistaken. Because... 
I thought we go to a space station now, don't we? Do we? Do we go even further in the future? Yeah. Oh. How many years do you think? 2100. Huh. Where no turtle has gone before. No turtle oh. has gone to, to uh, 2020 either, so. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. 2100, man. What would you do if you actually went to the future? Like, if you woke up one day and you were like 100 years in the future, what would be the first thing that you'd do? Mm, take a walk? Take some pictures? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what's there. <laughs> I have to look at yeah, I guess explore would be the first thing. I mean, I would definitely try and get on the internet, because I feel like that'd be the fastest way to figure out what's going on. <laughs> but, like, I don't even know if, if the internet would even make sense, right? Like, it would be like using a computer 100 years ago. Like, I, I, I don't even think I could use a computer that's 100 years old, because I wouldn't understand the interface, so, like... Would I even be able to understand a computer from 100 years in the future? You know, I don't know. That's a good point. Do you think, uh, like, voice technology will ever become the predominant way of interacting? Like on Star Trek, where they're like, Computer, start a log, or computer, do this. Uh, yeah, I think there's a good chance. I mean, I I got a Google Home recently, and I've been talking to it a lot, so... Oh, have you? What do you get it to do? Uh, play music, set reminders, set timers, tell me the weather... Uh, I don't cool. know, like anything. <laughs> Do you find that Answer it's like ver very accurate? Because I, I like I have the Google stuff on my phone, but I like rarely ever use it because I feel like every time you ask it to do something, you have to ask like four times, you know? Um, no, I find it's very accurate. Hmm, that's it's, kind of cool. I, I I still don't think I'm using it to its full potential, but like uh, the other day. Uh, we're trying to figure out how... So we had just a bit of a hiccup there, guys. We got disconnected, but we're reconnected. And so, Brandon, you were talking about Google Home. Yeah. Um, I was saying how I feel like I'm not using it to its full potential quite yet. And the other day, I was thinking about how we're planning on doing some traveling soon, and maybe we have to uh, renew our passports. But we didn't know how long it takes to renew a passport. So I just asked Google and it literally just took like a half a second or a second and then just told us how long it takes. Oh, that's pretty cool. And it, it had like this long explanation about like, you know, you know, if you do it by mail, it's like this. If you go in person, it's like this. And, like, right, all right. The details. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've always thought it would be cool to have computers take more voice commands, but I've just never found the voice stuff of anything to be reliable enough yet, but admittedly, like, I don't have a Google Home. I've just played around with it on my phone. Mm. But I think, like, I'm a little discouraged from using the voice stuff, because I feel like it only recognizes what I want it to do about half the time. What do you try and get it to do on your phone? Um, like, look up directions, or call people, or play certain songs. I find mm. it, like, sometimes it doesn't even detect that I've asked it to do something. Really? Yeah. I think that's... Uh, like, I, I'm sure the voice stuff's going to continue to get better and better, but I just don't think it's at a point. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that, now I'm dead. There's me. Um, but anyway. Um, so we are playing this game remotely, as we've said. I mean, we said in the Turtles 3 video that's what we were doing. Um, we were talking after playing Turtles 3... Oh, damn it! <laughs> about just how cool it is, actually, that you can play these games, these Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games remotely with your friends. Um, and it does take a bit of setup. It's not super easy, but it is doable. And, uh, like, we got disconnected there for a second, and Brandon just made a save state, restarted, I restarted, he loaded the save state, and before we knew it, we were right back where we left off. Like, it's actually pretty painless, I think. I don't know about you. Me? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. it's painless for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's kind of neat that uh, these games that kind of, like, we grew up with and stuff, like, they're still around in an accessible form, you know? Like, they're not really going anywhere. I like how Shredder's in the background here just, like, enjoying this whole fight. He's like, yes, kill the turtles! It's like the best day of his life. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants that turtle soup, I bet. I don't think anyone told him you can just buy it. You don't have to... <laughs> to get it. You don't have to kill people. I took the pizza, by the way, so I don't mind finishing this guy off. If you get into a right. spot, I figured one of us might as well take it because we both had about the same level of health and we we're both getting pretty low. Yeah. Yeah, get him, get him. No get close. Him. <laughs> yeah. 
feel like Krang is like really good at surviving explosions. I'm not even convinced oh. he's dead. That I don't know. It looks, like, it looks like he died. Like he just exploded. It does. It's true. Maybe we just murdered a brain. So now we can finally get home and rescue the Statue of Liberty. I would be more concerned about destroying time travel technology from the hands of the Foot Clan if it were me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Seems yeah, like a dangerous that, tech to leave them with. That That's true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so Super Shredder. This is the final boss. I can't believe we made it. See, he's still going on about the turtle soup. He's just hes just known as Shred now. <laughs> Shred. <laughs> <laughs> he's transcended normal names. Um, yeah. By the way, did you, did you ever watch the uh, Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells music video tour thing? Like, speaking of bad Ninja Turtle uh, incarnations from when we were kids. Uh, I think I did not when I was a kid when I like I didn't know it existed before like you watched it as, as an adult Yeah, well, no, no, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just oh. found out <laughs> What'd you think of it? Uh, I don't have any memory of it really <laughs> No comment. <laughs> I think I've blocked it out. <laughs> yeah, I remember with Ninja Turtles. I mean this guy's super easy by the way uh, So easy that we can reminisce about bad Ninja Turtles spin-offs <laughs> Keep, keep in mind, uh, this is on you. That's true. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I remember that coming out of their shells thing. It was like this music video tour with Ninja Turtles. It didn't make any sense. It had this, like, Bill and Ted feel to it, because it's like the power of rock and roll defeated Shredder, and... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, highly relevant to what was happening just there in 1992. <laughs> <laughs> so we successfully did it, I guess. Your ninja still skills are starting, starting to, to show, show promise. promise. We just killed the uh, super shredder. What do you mean starting to show harder. <laughs> Oh, he's just oh, he wants us to right. go on normal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, well, fair enough. Yeah, um, that's fair. Yeah, and there's Shredder continuing to laugh at us. We didn't actually beat him, I suppose. We did the whole thing in 28 minutes. No way. Did we? That's what it says. Huh, I guess we did. Because we remember that... we played for like half an hour before we had to reset. Hmm. So, yeah. We're, nin we're ninja masters. <laughs> we're ninja masters. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting to get through this game this easily. It, it, it is significantly easier than the Turtles 3. Than the NES ones. I, I found like over time, like... I think this is true generally. It's not for absolutely every single video game, but generally games on the NES were harder than the Super Nintendo, which were harder than systems that came later, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they were starting to lighten up. They were realizing these games were made for kids and that maybe they should be playable. <laughs> <laughs> so we... Well, even as not a kid, I appreciate the being slightly easier. Yeah. Would you say then that this is your favorite Ninja Turtle game? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think I would probably say the same, too. Um, I think the Turtles 2 for Nintendo, I played more, and as far as nostalgia goes, I think I like that one better, but as far as gameplay goes, I think I like this one better. Mm-hmm. Definitely the more solid entry. Yep. So and do if you, you have... Oh, if you on. beat it too fast, you can always just kick the uh, difficulty level up. That is true. That is mm -hmm. true. Do you have any final thoughts for us? Uh on our Ninja Turtles special here, because this is our last episode. What are your final mm. thoughts about the Ninja Turtles? Uh, they're awesome, and if yeah. anyone has any any suggestions for uh, you know other Ninja Turtle games, I'd be interested in hearing those, because I haven't really played any. It was kind of like Ninja Turtles were the thing when I was a kid, and then I grew up, and then I stopped being obsessed with them, right? So That is actually uh, a really good point, yes. Because we so, were... Go on. I was just going to say, I, I don't... Like, I didn't keep buying the games, right? Like... I probably bought these games, would have bought them regardless of how good they were. And I probably did. I didn't pay attention to ratings when I was like, oh, okay, right. right. So, yeah. Because yeah. we were even saying that neither of us has played the Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighter, which was another yeah. Super Nintendo game. Yeah, I'm curious about that one. Yeah. So we might check that one out, maybe for just like a Saturday afternoon gaming episode sometime. Play that one. Because I've never tried it either, but uh, I'm curious about it. Mm-hmm. 
but even the modern ones too like neither of us have really played the modern ones so if there is a good one out there despite maybe the ratings being bad if you can personally say but it's actually still good uh, yeah, definitely let us know, because we are curious to hear about that. All right, so that about does it for us in our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles special. Guys, whatever you think of these games, hopefully you've enjoyed checking them out with me and Jordan and Brandon. Um, oh, I guess I should say, you know, we were hoping Jordan would join us for this episode, but it's just the timing just didn't work out. So uh, it was just me and Brandon for today. Um, but, you know, if you have enjoyed having Jordan or Brandon or both of them uh, on the series, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I can get these guys back uh, to do other episodes occasionally um, if you guys think it is a fun thing to do. I mean, I think it's fun, so I'll probably have you back regardless of uh, <laughs> the outcry one way or the other. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. Uh, don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to share these videos with all your friends who are fans of the Ninja Turtles. Um, and until next time, guys, I guess don't let your enemies turn you into soup. And from Gaming J and Brandon, Kawabunga! Kawabunga! We see like one more hit on him, and he's gonna kill me again. <laughs> he's blocking everything. I don't We're understand. Gonna try to find what this guy. Oh god! <laughs> he's gonna get us.